All right, let's get into more left behind or being caught up, all right? And explain some things that's going on that's being rebuilt, okay? Because we need to remember that Donald Trump, he's the Antichrist. He's the sign of end times, okay? False prophet Biden, he starts bringing those in, all right? So after Trump, you're going to have the four kings, right? So 45 Trump, 46 47 Kamala, who rides the beast. I don't know if she's actually considered a king or not, but you'll get the 48th, 49th, and then 50th, okay? Um, if she's considered the king, then you'd get to the 49th, and that would be the 1 3 for the M, the C, um, and all those things, okay? So, Donald Trump's the end time. He's telling you the end of that time. So, we're going to start getting a new time. All right, the new America is starting to work its way in. The new church is starting to work its way in because the old church has been conquered. The old church has been going into the beast system. They are worshiping the uh, lightning that's cast to the ground, right? We're told that Lucifer is cast as lightning, okay? Satan is cast to the ground, all right? And... Um, through modern times, we've had ground-breaking technology, all right? All these go together to pull Lucifer or Satan from the ground into back into the air, all right? Because Lucifer is going to reign man again for a thousand years from the pit. We, we go into an ebb and flow, right, where Lucifer is up and down, up and down. And, and uh, man worships him from the ground or from the air and, and we're going into a time where it's a spiritual time so it's going to be in the air that's why you have the ai moving upon all men okay um that's why you have the dumb men choosing the smart homes and the smart meters and whatever else okay so the millennium kingdom the millennial the millennium it, it that marked the the Kings rise, okay? And you have the return of Jesus coming and you have the return of Lucifer coming, all right? And Jesus returns as lightning from the east, right? The east sounds like beast. So this is where we're, where the people who might be seeing things or whatever, they're starting to realize that Lucifer was made over the angels in heaven and Jesus was made under them, all right? And in order to access the light, you have to go through the light, all right? So there's the light of this world, and there's a the spiritual light of this world. And in order to access the physical light of this world, you have to go through the spiritual light of this world, which is Jesus, okay? Um, so Jesus lives inside of us, okay? We are the temple where Jesus resides, okay? The temple's being rebuilt either for Lucifer to reside that's why you get the beast man, the foreheads, okay? Or the temple is being rebuilt for the believer. And that's why you get the light in the foreheads where you can think and you're not given over to the delusion because you've been seeking after Jesus. You've been seeking after truth. The Jesus, I can't believe this is the other side of the story they're not telling us. Jesus, really? Jesus, they're doing that to people? I can't believe people are, are believing that. I can't believe people are eating hot dogs over almonds just because the new tells, news tells them that they're better for them or whatever. Stupid bullshit, whatever, right? Y'all are just following a bunch of shit, right? Anyways, so that's Beast Man. That's why they're just going back to their own vomit and why they're going back to their own... They're going in circles, all right? Um, they just repeated that the sheep are going in circles and they don't know why. Well, it's because they're in a trance, all right? We're seeing now they're in a trance. Um, and the trance music is for the techno, techno, right? We all got to use technology, but some of us use technology to seek truth, and some of us use technology to avoid truth, right? To keep the bubble afloat, because you don't want to know that um, Tom, Dick, and Harry is doing that at wherever to control you or putting this in your water to make you dumb or putting that in your fluoride your dental whatever y'all are doing whatever y'all are doing these days right i've tried to step out from it but all kinds of nonsense okay that's what the beast man's doing y'all are just living in hell and um 
We'll do a, a video about some uh, examples of living in hell that are pretty clear, but um, hell, on, hell on earth is coming, and it's coming for the beast, right? So, once knowing that Jesus lives inside of us, knowing that the temple is us as a believer, and knowing that Genesis 1, they're the sons of God, okay? The us and our created man in his own image. That man created the male and female after he, them, all right? And then we see that um, in Genesis 2, the sons of man were created, the man and woman, all right? So we're seeing different things replayed in different mirrors, but you see the Genesis 2 man gathered and taken into Eden, all right? That's going to be the same as where the beast man is gathered and taken into the metaverse, right? Or the bottomless pit. Because when the invisible enemy came on, the world shut down, and Trump, the Abaddon, he has the keys to the pit. So he opened up the pit, and the Zoom, Zoom, the Zoom for the 1 3 opened up for the beast man. And that's your new bloodless body for the new heaven and new earth, okay? You're going to have your old body, but your new bloodless body that will live forever will be on the bottomless pit, okay? Um, but you'll be getting born again because your salvation will be um, understood under the new age and under the new church and all these other things, okay? Either way. So, we see... Those who can see are seeing Jesus return in the clouds, okay? The cloud is the eye cloud, the eye cloud. You can see it in the eye, like I, I am Jesus coming in the cloud, right? Um, so it's the eye cloud. And we're seeing our makers and we're being caught up with our makers in two different ways. The two men on earth. There's some men in hell right now and there's some men in heaven right now, all right? Um, and it all depends on your mindset. So... Um, it says the sons of God took the daughters of men, all right? And we see people that are gathered up in the ark, and we see people um, gathered up into Eden and all these other things, okay? So, uh, as far as the new church, the believer, the remnant, the, um, the elect, okay? They are being caught up with Jesus right now. And Jesus lives inside of us, okay? His other name is just us, justice, just us, okay? And as he returns and he's going to show himself, he's going to show himself through us, okay? We will be, from what I'm seeing now, we will be the Jesus, okay? We will be the Godmen of earth in the, in the, in the next age or when this all gets completely done, okay? There could be a time where the elect, the remnant, or whoever, the believers, they are gathered up and taken into the ark or the new Jerusalem or the kingdom or whatever y'all want to call it. Um, they're taken away from anywhere from a month, six months, a year, three and a half years during the final wrath or whatever. And then they come back and set up the new church and new age after that, okay? Otherwise... If the mothership or New Jerusalem appears, right, and it's just hovering there in the sky and the veil's lifted over or whatever, that's when the next age also can start, all right? Either way, the mothership shows or the people or the elect go missing, all right? That's when the so-called next age will so-called start in full force because um, after Ron gets done, the church today is going to think Ron DeSantis is the Antichrist, but it's actually after that because we're in the transition phase at that point, and they're not going to wake up until after. And then they're going to go into the Great Depression when they realize that, and because they're all left behind. Everything they've been taught, everything their dumb-ass pastors have taught them, their Apollyon pastors, are they led them straight to hell right and they helped put the mark in the right hand they helped put the mark in the foreheads and helped worship his name and helped worship his number and all these things 
because they're expecting all these physical signs that are never going to happen. Because in, in the New Testament, the Jew is inward. It is not outward. Okay? So the outward Jew no longer exists. That, that nation has been scattered. That nation was scattered before Jesus. Jesus wasn't even a Jew. Right? And y'all are thinking the Antichrist is going to be Jew? Give me a break. Right? That's where Ivanka comes in. That's where Ivanka can be the last Trump or whatever. And that's why the Statue of Liberty is a woman and all these other things. And she ties into the to the um, uh, Jew line and the woman line and uh, Jared and all those things. The, air, the arid. Um, anyway, so the future earth, like hell on earth, the new age, the next age will probably be ruled by women, right? Because women are the ones who were um, the enmity was against the woman seed, right? That's why the women s struggle with vanity and trying to keep up with Tom, Dick, and Harry and trying to do everything, okay? Because they're the ones that kind of live in hell, trying to keep up with everybody, tormenting and, and gnashing of teeth against all these so-called friends and whatever, co-workers. And then... Um, so that can be how that kind of gets brought onto earth or whatever. And then women aren't supposed to be in power according to the Bible and all these other things. So that kind of structure would, would change kind of things. And we see men were in control at the beginning. So as the mirror of that, you would have like a woman in control at the end. Um, anyways, folks, we'll figure out who the last Trump is when it's time. Um, that's a little bit far down in infrared vision at the moment but we've got Ron DeSantis figured out um, Hillary Clinton she'll be making a scene back Barack Obama there's a good chance he might come back he might even come back for a third term um, if they end up doing getting rid of the term limits or however they're talking about doing um, and that would tie back into the sun going dark again um, anyways folks there's different things that's being laid out as far as um, the uh, gaps being filled in but we can see the overall big picture and um, start to put, put together things okay but Jesus appearing how the church teaches in the sky or whatever that's never gonna happen all right the closest thing that will happen to is the mothership happening all right and then once the mothership shows or the elect are taken they come back or whatever but once the mothership shows that's when the elect or the so-called aliens on earth or the remnant or whatever that's when that new system starts, or the new church would start, and then, um, or the so-called God-men living on earth, where you have mortals and immortals and all these other things, okay? Um, anyways, folks, just updating you on this, because Jesus comes as lightning from the east, and Lucifer is cast as lightning, and the way to access one light is through another light, and it's not the way the church is teaching. It's so far from the way the church is teaching. But it has to be that way in order for these things to happen. All right. Um, these are great times to be in, guys. Um, especially. Uh, especially if you're on the right side and you're the believer. You can hear your ear and you know you can see what's going on. All right. 